Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to this channel. If you guys have a BMW 1 Series BMW, guys, I'm talking about generation E82, E87, E88. Uh, E82 is known as the sedan, E87 hatchback, E88 is the convertible, guys. And you have, guys, okay, four or six cylinder engine, guys, and you're wondering, okay, what is bank one? What is bank two? When, let's say you're scanning your system, you have engine light on, and it says you need to replace certain sensor on bank one or bank two. We'll explain, guys, what is bank one, bank two, where bank one, where bank two is located, and all that stuff today, guys. It's super important when working on your vehicle. Now, quick introduction to the channel, guys. Every single car we get at the shop, we make, guys, at least two to 300 free repair videos. Specifically on BMWs, we make close to 500 videos. Why? Simply, guys, because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video guys so we can keep providing these free videos to you if you guys need to buy any replacement parts or tools for your bmw check out the link in the description of the video below we'll share guys all that for your convenience so specifically we're going to start with the six cylinder engine that we have here and we're going to explain about the four cylinder four cylinder is actually a little bit uh, uh, not so complicated as the six cylinder but we're going to explain about both of them now so six cylinder engine guys this is known as n52 uh, N53 and N54 engines are all similar. It's a uh, straight six cylinder, also known as inline six cylinder engine. You can see the uh, cylinders in line one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, when you guys scan the system, let's say you scan a system and you get a code, okay, for, uh, okay, knock sensor, bank, let's say bank one or bank two, and you have two sensors, one here, one over there. How do you know which one it is, guys, that you need to replace? Or you have, guys, uh, a code for catalytic converter not doing its job on bank one or two. Okay, and we have catalytic converter here, catalytic converter there. We have two of them, two oxygen sensors. Pretty much like the engine is divided in two, guys. How do you know that? So the computer, guys, okay, thinks that between cylinder number three and four, guys, you have a boundary there and it actually detects the first half of the engine cylinder number one two and three okay separate from the cylinders number four five and six for certain sensors let's say knock sensors oxygen sensors catalytic converters okay many things why does that simply guys because it uh, by doing that it can more precisely adjust uh, the operation of the engine it can uh, everything can be more precise it can be more efficient and it can release less pollution in the atmosphere so as a result guys okay the first half of the engine pretty much is treated almost like a separate engine for some sensors and the second half as well so the first half starting from the where your serpentine belt is located okay is actually bank one for cylinders one two and three bank two is for cylinders four five and six guys four five and six so this is for the six cylinder engine what about guys a four cylinder engine four cylinder engine also okay uh, it's the inline four cylinder very popular on one series guys it's pretty much known as bank one okay you may have bank one sensor one and two in some cases you may have do uh do actually uh knock sensors but it will say bank one sensor one or sensor two and you will have one catalytic converter and it will just say bank one so six cylinder engine the first three cylinders are bank one second three cylinders bank two four cylinders uh, four cylinder engines are known as just guys okay as uh, bank one only hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you having a bmw uh, one series thank you for watching guys please subscribe to the uh, to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time